What is happening guys, I am Sia and I'm back with another video and today we are simulating the World Cup. That is right, we will go and see if Southgate's boys can win themselves a trophy. Let's get straight into it and fingers crossed, England may get themselves a World Cup. So here we are and as you can see, Spain have won themselves another world cup in 2022 and honestly i cannot believe this it's it's very very weird third place playoff brazil versus france but let's jump in and see exactly where things went wrong for england we'll go to the world cup group stages to start off there all groups so as you can see i mean the regular names you'll expect to see england wales going through our group holland and senegal beating qatar and ecuador not a massive shock there Poland missing out to Mexico in Group C with Argentina winning that one. France, which this looks like an Egypt flag on this. I don't know if it's an error, but it looks like an Egypt flag in my head. But I can't remember. Egypt aren't even here. I can't remember what the Egypt flag looks like, but that to me is the Egyptian flag. Anyway, then Australia went through. Denmark crashing out in third place there. So Australia getting themselves into the second round. We have Spain topping their groups. We know they won. Didn't lose a game in the group stages. Germany finishing second and Japan getting no points whatsoever. I mean, no real big shocks here. Canada, minus 12 is actually rather a large shock, to be fair. Um, it looked very, very good in qualifying. You'd expect them to do something good, but a 7-0 loss to Morocco is insane. 4-1 Belgium, you expect. and You expect them to lose to Croatia, but you do expect them to put up a little bit of a fight. In the next group, in what was a shock, goal difference, Cameroon finished top, Brazil finished second. Cameroon there, you know, seven points, big fan of that. Three goal difference, they only drew with Brazil and smashed the other two, 3-1 and 2-1, so fair play to them. Then in the last group, rounding out the second round, you have Uruguay finishing top, South Korea in second, Portugal missing out, didn't actually notice that, Portugal missing out. Um, was, I imagine he must have been in the squad, Cristiano. He wasn't but playing in left attacking mid. Shao Felix getting to lead the line, which is something that going forward you would expect to see. Ronaldo scoring the South Korea game. Ronaldo getting two goals of three they scored in this competition, and they unfortunately crash out of it. But well, let's have a look at who drew who in the second round. I mean, look at this. Wales against Holland, they lost three goals to nil. Argentina getting a nice draw against Australia. I mean, no disrespect to Australia, but Argentina are ridiculously good. I mean, is Messi? Messi, I imagine, will be here unless he's injured. He is, he's there. Look at that. Martinez up top, Di Maria, Dybala, Messi. It's disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> it's disgusting. England drawing Senegal. We'll deep dive into the England fixtures after this. France, in extra time, only managing to overcome uh, Mexico, sorry. Spain, 3 1 against Belgium. Spain looking to have a little bit of a resurgence after a few. Few dreadful tournaments south korea 2 cameroon 1 croatia 2 germany 0 and then brazil beating uruguay the fellow south american opponents and um, 1 0 and it's nice to see cody gakpo 7.82 chance of coming at leeds are in the gutter so then we go into the quarter finals this is where we see the end of england argentina 1 holland 0 spain 1 south korea 0 france beat us one goal to nil i mean was it close or we will be fighting i don't know i mean it's a very very close game and bappe look that's a horrible formation isn't it that's a minging formation we're playing a 4-3-3 uh, rice bellingham a uh, rice bellingham henderson midfield is not what i wanted to say and then brazil 3-0 against croatia putting into the semi-finals argentina versus spain where spain won an extra time and brazil versus france Obviously, we know what happened in the final. Spain 3, Brazil 2. I want to know what happened to England. How did England get on? And who scored our goals? So here we are. I mean, look at that. We smashed these. 2 0, Harry Kane. Harry Kane performing in a big tournament. It can be right. He scored 4 in 3 games. Something he has actually struggled to do in real life, but we let him off. Harry Kane again putting England past Senegal. But then one step too far as we get knocked out by France in the quarters. Spain themselves have a very weird looking team, to be honest with you. Busquets and Thiago in the middle of the park, very, very old. MC Rodri, how old's Rodri nowadays? He's 26, he's still young, he's got plenty of time left. Anzu Fati leading the line, Pedri and Ferran Torres. 
Laporte, Kukurea. I mean, they're missing, they're missing a player here. They're missing one defender. Let's go into the Brazil game and see what happened in this final. As you can see, a very close game. XG 1.19, they score three. Brazil with a 1.99 and only a scoring two. Um, yeah, it's a very strong side. Danny Alves is even playing. Danny Alves, 39-year-old Danny Alves is making it to the World Cup. What a joke. But he is Spain. Sergio Ramos at the back. Gaia coming on. Maratha coming on. Actually got a goal. I, I'll be honest with you. If I had to put money on him, it would not... It would not be Spain to win the World Cup, but stranger things have happened. Thank you for watching, guys. Will Spain win the World Cup? Let me know down below who are your favourites for the competition, and I'll see you next time.